You think it's been good? These are the real macho men now. Pumping it out head to head as we go into this final group. And there's perhaps the most talented of them all. He's yet to win a gold medal at Europeans and World. Was runner up to Jagodin at Europeans in Prague and Worlds in Helsinki. 17 years of age, two years younger than Jagodin. Surely a champion in waiting. But will he have to wait any longer than this week? And uh, finally, a man who won this title back in 1993 when the uh, European Championships were in Helsinki. He had two left blades. It was his first ever <laughs> European Championship, and he won it. He's never got anywhere near winning it since, but we love watching him, Dmitry Dimitrenko from the Ukraine. Fans of Plushenko at uh, all sides of the rink. He's an engaging and very visual character is the younger of the two Russians in this final group. But it's Yagudin who goes in as favourite. have to say, Chris, they both won there. They were in different qualifying groups. They both won. Neither was right up to par. We've seen that so often, though, haven't we, in the qualification rounds. They just hold a little bit back. And uh, this is when they really do come good. Plushenko is fired up for this, I can assure you. And uh, he's got the draw. yagodin has got to go out there, put the pressure on. The chances are Plushenko will stay out the back. He won't know how Jagodin skated. He'll keep himself to himself and come out with a clean mind, totally focused, and uh, really go for broke. There's Jagodin. And uh, he's been in this situation before, hasn't he? He knows what he has to do. And uh, you can bet your bottom dollar he's probably going to skate a clean program. Trained by Tatiana Tarasova. And Plushenko here. Trained by Alexei Mishin. And you can uh, take it from us that the uh, two camps are big rivals. They certainly are. That's us, right at the top there. And we can't wait for this. This is what it's all about. You hear that applause. It's uh, Plushenko just did a superb quadruple toe loop off camera. There's Tatiana Tarasova who looks after the reigning champion here. Four of them could do quads. Jagodin, Alexander Apt, Vincent Rostenkor, the Frenchman, and Plushenko. The three Russians and the Frenchman all could do quads. Broke his shoe in training in January and injured his foot. So we're not quite sure if he's 100%. And then he broke his wrist a couple of weeks ago. You can see the uh, bandage on it when he was training in Moscow and uh, bumped against the barrier there, falling on one of his quads. So it's not been uh, plain sailing by any means for Jagodin, and that's why there's a feeling of vulnerability about it. Otherwise, I think yeah, from what he's achieved, remember, double world champion. He's won the world championship for the last two years. He's won the European championship for the last two years. He would be a red-hot favorite, but a feeling that Plushenko has a chance here. Of course, Plushenko's getting stronger and stronger every year as well. The gap is closing. <laughs> 